Bethel school students in the middle of this bus crash on I-95 trying to stay calm as they call for help. Hi, ma'am. Our bus just crashed, and we don't know if our bus driver is okay. He crashed into a tree. Okay, okay. 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 Hold on. What's the address? Oh, my God. Address? Oh my God, my head hurts so bad. But the 13 year old boy you just heard wasn't the only one reaching for a phone after one of their friends suffered a broken leg. Christian Rios, who you heard there, was one among the first to call 911 in the moments after that school bus went off the road Wednesday morning. Well, at five, we brought you his urgent but composed call for help. And just seconds after he called, an 11 year old boy also grabbed his phone, knowing his friend, 12 year old Caden Hicks, was badly injured. Channel 4's Jim Pickett is live at Wolfson Children's Hospital where Caden Hicks is being treated. Jim. You know, I've heard a lot of 911 calls, but I was very surprised by these calls. When you hear these kids and the way that they handled this emergency, particularly the 11 year old who you're going to hear from shortly, talking about Caden, who's now here at Wolfson Hospital, where we just learned is in good condition. What's the emergency? Hello? What's the emergency? I have an emergency. My bus driver just crashed into a tree, and my friend, my friend Caden, he has a bloodied leg. Okay. Stay on the phone with me. Let me get rescue and everything on the line with us, okay? Stay on the phone. Okay, how many kids are on the bus with you, kiddo? Well, we've all gone out except for one kid. His name is Caden. He's stuck in the seat. I've got an 11-year-old involved in that accident on the interstate. She's on the phone with us now. Yeah. Okay, I got fire and rescue on the phone. Can you tell us about your friend and about the bus driver? How are they? I'm not sure how old the bus driver is. My friend, Caden, is 12 years old. He's stuck between his seat and his leg. He's stuck between the seat? Yeah, he's stuck between the seat and his leg. Okay. And is everybody able to talk to you? Yeah, most everyone, no one is hurt severely except for Caden. Caden's Kaden, leg is, is really bloody and... I love you on the phone. She and Caden is the one that's trapped between the seats? Yeah. The 11 year old went on to tell the operator that the bus driver had a small cut and then said police had just pulled up to the scene. Yeah. All right, kid, you are doing fantastic. Is, did the police and everybody get there? Yes, there's lots of people trying to get Caden out. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and let you go. You did a fantastic job. Thank you for calling, okay? Okay. All right. And, you know, we had just learned again that Caden is doing good, good condition here at the hospital, and many are hoping that he will be released soon. We also had a chance today to look at the bus inspection report. Each driver is required to do a visual inspection of the bus before they take it out. But in this case on that report, the driver did not check off that he visually inspected the bus. When he was asked about that by his supervisor, he says he does that at the end of the shift. He said he inspected it, just didn't check it off and would have done that later. We're live on the South Bank. Jim Piggott, Channel 4, the local station. Thank you, Jim. And just a short time ago, Channel 4's Francesca Amaker caught up with both boys who called 911 and their mothers. The mother of 13 year old Christian Riho was very emotional after learning what her son did to help. Thoughts, Mom. Thoughts, thoughts on hearing that call? It's hard. It's hard to hear it. And to know that You could have lost, I mean, you could have lost your kids. Thank God nobody, nobody died. And Caden was injured really badly. But thank, thank God we didn't lose anybody. But it just brings it all together. I've never heard that. And it's hard to listen to, very hard to listen to. I can't imagine what they were going through on that bus. Yeah, I mean, he, I'm, I'm proud of him. He did a good job, but it is, it's, um, it's tough to listen to. It's tough to know that your kids went through that. And, um, experience that and there was nothing that you as a parent could do about it. Absolutely nothing. Francesca will bring us more from both families tonight on the 10 o'clock news and on News 4 Jacks at 11.